All right, so we're out cleaning up our site as we discussed, um, and we're gonna talk about concrete. We're gonna talk about basics today, uh, really what is concrete and how does it work and then uh, over the next couple days, we're going to get into uh, some defining characteristics of concrete, how it's ordered, uh, how it varies by different use, and how it's placed. Uh, so concrete 101 today, what is concrete? Concrete has just a few ingredients. The first ingredient is Portland cement. Portland cement is a, it's a fine powder made from superheating limestone and, uh, and they turn it into what's called clinker, and then they grind it into a powder. Uh, so that is the main ingredient. Uh, the next ingredient, of course, is water. And the last ingredient is aggregates. And there's a couple different kinds of aggregates, um, but anything uh, with any substance and size can be an aggregate. So sand, uh, small rock, big rock, usually a combination of a couple of those are the aggregates and sometimes air is used sometimes air can be entrenched but that's pretty unusual for our circumstances here in florida uh, but those are the main ingredients in concrete uh, you can make a lot of different concrete by varying those ingredients and, and essentially the way it works uh, and a lot of times people do add mixes so there's some chemical add mixes that we can add uh, to either speed up the curing process of the concrete or slow it down we can make the concrete more water resistant um, so there's quite a few different admixes that they use as well uh, sort of adjuncts but the primary ingredients to concrete are just portland cement water and aggregate and um, and in that process of uh, of curing those things basically the way concrete sets up is there's a chemical reaction between the water and the Portland cement that crystallizes. Uh, and it, it forms a, a calcium silicone hydrate, I think. Um, it's, it's a chemical process. Basically crystals form, they interconnect, and as that moisture draws out of that concrete through hydration and evaporation, it leaves concrete as we know it. So that's the basics. Later on, we're gonna talk more about slump uh, we're going to talk about the different ag at the different uh, aggregates, and we're going to talk about um, the different PSIs, the strengths, and why we use different slumps and different aggregates for different applications and how we place it. So stay tuned. Thanks.